can't sit back, relax, laugh your butts off, do pick up your butt after if you do such a thing, and let's get this show started. Panelists, are you ready? Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> buddy! Yeah. Buddy! You're, buddy, stand up. We're gonna play superheroes. I know, you're the problem causer. Yeah. Alright, the way this game works is we are going to have a bunch of superheroes, and they are going to have to solve a mundane task. That mundane task could be unclogging a sink, changing a light bulb, or anything vaguely more furry related. We are also going to give Buddy a superpower. Nothing particularly good like super strength, but maybe something weird like can only see mites at the microscopic scale or uh, has healing farts. I don't know. <laughs> Considering he's a dog, that would be quite the inversion. So, we need from the no, audience... No, not until you try it. Oh my god! Sammy, I smell Buddy's farts now, I guess. <laughs> okay, That's we have his superpower. Buddy has healing farts. What is the problem we are trying to solve? <laughs> Playing, 
Hey, we could do that to Alkali though for suggesting it. Yeah! yeah. I like that idea. Pass the buck! Pass the buck! Pass the buck! Pass the buck! Wait, Pass the buck. Only, to charity. Only to charity! Only to charity! Okay, okay. The problem you are trying to solve is all of the world's shoelaces have vanished. Oh my goodness. So, you have healing farts. I do? Yeah, I've decided. <laughs> the Oh, and as the new superheroes come on, Buddy is going to give the next person that comes on their power. The person who comes on after that is going to be given their power by the second person. We need some heroes. Uh, we need Alkali, Hi Pepper, and Iggy. You want those stairs or no stairs? Thank you. There are... Microphones. These are these are foreground stairs. Those are background. Stairs. I shouldn't say this line in the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> you three stand up. Yeah. All right, buddy. So Ready? All right. Go. All right. Uh, tell me where they where they are. Okay. Ready. Right. One, two, three. All right. You're all good to go. Go ahead. Yep. You're feeling great. Don't trip on the way up. No. Wait. Why did you trip? Your shoelaces are missing. My shoelaces are missing. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not even going to be able to walk everywhere that I need to be able to fart on people's faces to heal them. What am I ever going to do? I'm going to need some help here to find these missing shoelaces. I'll take the case. Well, can't modulate their voice, voice volume, man. <laughs> But it just never worked for you. I appreciate <laughs> your ability to solve problems. And I appreciate you too, voice, voice modulating man. But we got an issue here. We're missing all of the world's shoelaces. She's vanished out of thin air. I mean, ah! I have an idea. What is that idea? Perhaps. Perhaps. If one of my friends were to show up, and you weren't to fart them out of the building. <laughs> oh my goodness, I think that is a wonderful idea now that I think about it. Yes, let's, let's teach them right away. Yes. It is I! Hello, the rhyming rapper? <laughs> I see all these sad long faces because the world is out of shoelaces. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm told it is a healing art. <laughs> that thing you do when you fart. <laughs> Have you farted in different places to try and find all of the shoelaces? You know, I should absolutely try to do that. Are they there? I've cured my sinuses. <laughs> That's phenomenal, but the world is going to be tripping all over the place on shoelaces that don't exist. If I am to formulate a plan, I will need help from my friend. Always talks with his hands, man. <laughs> Out there. there is a crazy problem. Oh, he talks with his hands, man. What do you think we should do? I think we should invent something. I've got a marvelous idea. <laughs> There's a radius of danger around that man. Oh, I can't. Power's been infused in me. Oh, he talks with his hands, man. <laughs> I suspect that your condition has gone to your feet as well. This is a surprising development, especially when you don't have shoelaces! No, I don't have shoelaces, but if I do one of my little crazy dances... Velcro, bitches. Velcro! 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 I need to go solve more problems with my wacky arms at a car wash. Oh my exalted potentate, your voice you suddenly can modulate. 
I think that that was a good start, but the only thing to help with my voice modulation would be your fart. I feel like a dog. Wow, who knew that just hooks and strings would be able to solve everything? Oh wait, I think a new world problem has come about because I just can't... I can't not rhyme when I shout, no! One power. I didn't do that. Buddy did. Oh, no, yeah. Screw you. I, I do appreciate how you do default to blaming me, though. Yeah, right. I mean, statistically, it is correct. It's a <laughs> All right, now that I waited for everyone to sit back down, uh, let's do some scenes from a hat. Uh, you can hold microphones, you can use the microphone yep. stands, or just belt it out. It's easier to step up the microphone. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, uh, I need a number. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use my own mic. I, I need a one, two, three, four, five, six. I need a number between one and five. Why would you do that to me? Well, it turns out number four is the one, one of the ones we did before. So we're doing a different one, and I am terrified. Yeah. All right, we are at scenes from a hat. The number that was picked looped back around because of taken numbers. Signs your doctor got their medical license from WebMD. Oh no! <laughs> it's cancer. I'm sorry to tell you, you have network connection faults. Yes! The only solution is to stop smoking marijuana, so unfortunately you are going to die. <laughs> I'm Dr. Apple, and now it's time for my bacon grease cleanse. <laughs> well, based on your symptoms, it's definitely lupus. Damn or it! cancer. <laughs> or a sore throat. Or you are pregnant. Or... <laughs> You may have... Please wait 30 seconds for the sponsored advertisement. <laughs> A problem. Alright, thank you for all of your symptoms. I'll be right back. Alexa! <laughs> oh, it turns out the cure is several million dollars. Oh no, I'm on American WebMD. <laughs> All right. Mr. Eden, I'm sure you'll feel better in no time. These are the same antidepressants we prescribed to Robin Williams. Oh! All right, thank you for all your private information. I'll get you results as soon as I send this off to the government. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how you got AIDS, but I think it has to do with dot .com. Oh! All right. Seems from a hat. All right. Oh, God, why? <laughs> because you love me. It's before, it's before noon on a Sunday, that's why. <laughs> Seems from a hat, a year of a deserted island with the same person. Is that <laughs> After I stop fucking the coconut. <laughs> Boozy. Stop making pina coladas. <laughs> Five million eight hundred thirty-seven twenty-six bottles of beer on the wall. <laughs> the pina coladas are great, but where are you finding the cream? <laughs> so this is this is before noon on a Sunday. That is explicitly all ages. Did I say all ages. Dirty words? All no, but we're getting there. All ages. <laughs> all ages. All ages. All ages. All ages. I will blow your mind if you promise not to think in my mouth. <laughs> I gotta start. I'll stand here. 
Alright, fine. This went really well last night, so I want to see what y'all do. Uh, scenes from a hat. Early versions of famous songs. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I, I can watch your cheeks clap! Oh, wait. <laughs> I might survive. <laughs> she wore an itsy bitsy teeny weeny G string. <laughs> I'm Henry the Eighth. I am. I love all my women like I love lamb. No. <laughs> my heart will go. <laughs> Let me break me any way you want me. I need a new chiropractor. <laughs> One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, cock. Uh, uh, all ages? Yeah. All ages. Yeah. 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 Oh, it was a rooster song. Yeah. 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 Rooster song. It's the first countdown. <laughs> three mice you can see. Three months you can see. <laughs> Happy day after your birthday. <laughs> go, 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 go. And the land, and the land of the free extras for the most part. <laughs> Put your right hand. In. You take your right hand out, you put your right hand in, and you found a new kink. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is a pound of keep. Oh, a pound of <laughs> I'm fairly certain that one came after losing your front teeth. <laughs> We're gonna start a fire. <laughs> You have one more. Working all day long from midnight until midnight. <laughs> okay, uh, we're done with this game. Uh, give it up for everyone. All right, Alkali. There's one on here that I do not remember what this one is. What do you got? Two-headed debate. Oh. Two headed debate is nasty as shit. <laughs> okay. Do you want to run it? Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, both the night that we're going to play some two headed debate. I need four volunteers. Two of you need to know each other very well because two of them are going to be having a one word back and forth. The two headed debater will be one word, one word, one word. The other two have to speak at the exact same time. You two? All right, you two are together. This is one side of the debate. Can I get two more that will go one word at a time? Back and forth, back and forth. Who wants to try it? Oh, no, you guys do it. You took your head. No. Iggy? You two. Guys, give our final essay a round of applause. Testies, testies, one, two, three. <laughs> you two, perfect. Perfect. All right, so all we need to know is what are they debating? We've, we've done is a hot dog and sandwich. Yes. Ketchup on a hot dog it is. Ketchup on a hot dog it is. So I am the interviewer. We are interviewing ketchup on a hot dog. You are pro, you are against. Pro ketchup on a hot dog, against ketchup on a hot dog. Be clever about it. And good luck to all of our contestants. And welcome to the first Which national are we? You are for it. No, 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 I mean, are we alternating words alternating or are they alternating words? words? You are alternating words, they are simultaneous. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you are both alternating words. Start with whoever you want. Welcome to the 19th annual debate of ketchup on a hot dog taking place right outside of Chicago. Because if we go in, we don't survive. <laughs> We have our debaters here, but before we get going, just a warm-up question, just a warm-up question. Over here, I remember that there was a question you had about ketchup on a hot dog. What did you want to ask? Anything you guys want. Is it Why is ketchup wrong? Why is it wrong? Why is it Alright, what I heard was, if not ketchup, what's the perfect condiment? Nothing. Is. Better. Then, 
Ketchup. Bitch. That is very strong words. That is very strong words. Do you have a rebuttal for nothing is better than ketchup, bitch? Chicago style, period. <laughs> Uh, I think the debate is off to a very heated start. Very good. So now, I have a question for you. In your life, what was a moment that really enamored you to ketchup on a hot dog? It was when I noticed that it was looking at a toilet. <laughs> Full of ketchup and bees. <laughs> well, that's a, an interesting moment to realize your love of ketchup on a hot dog. Do you have a rebuttal for ketchup in a toilet with bees? I'm from Chicago. <laughs> if you put ketchup on it, you will be stabbed. <laughs> Peace to stabbing, me to stabbing. We have to go over here. We need to know your hatred of ketchup that has to be based something psychologically, something deep down, something that you definitely didn't prepare for. <laughs> what was that moment? Daddy issues. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? Bumblebee is the best cure for daddy issues. <laughs> Some sound medical advice from our two-headed person over here. Bumblebees. Bumblebees. He's a good surgeon. Wait, Daddy. What is happening? What do bumblebees have to do with ketchup on hot dogs? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they are in other toilets too. With. Tuna? <laughs> I mean... <Yes>. Tuna? <laughs> In... The... Can. F, F this, this, we're, we're out. out. <laughs> Give them all a round of applause! Alrighty. Uh, I want to do another game, except I usually do... I want to do Alphabet, but who hasn't done that up here yet that wants to be scared? I don't like Alphabet. Pepper, you're doing an Alphabet. You're a great motivator. Shiro, have you ever, uh, buddy, have you ever done Alphabet? I have, dude. Let's go for it. I'm scared. Alright, so here's how this game works. We're going to start at a letter of the alphabet, and they are going to go back and forth, taking turns saying a line in a scene, starting with the next letter of the alphabet. They're going to go all the way around and try to get back to where they started. I will have a stopwatch. They have 90 seconds to do this. So, first thing I need from the audience is... What are they doing? Actually, sure. Um, this is dangerous. Don't actually kill each other, please. Don't cause a medical incident. We only have Web American WebMD. You are at a wrestling show. <laughs> you are at a wrestling show, starting with the letter W. And I realize I have to get the timer. Oh, you have the timer. Ready to go. You call it. All right, panelists, starting with the letter W, uh, Pepper, you're going first. You take turns trading. You have 90 seconds. Go. WWE is frankly too mainstream in my opinion. Xavier is my favorite wrestler, however. How could you stop watching this? You know who Xavier is? Twice. Of course I do. You're not done. Oh, why? Why? Yo. <laughs> what? What? Zoink, Scoob. I didn't think you'd know who Xavier is. <laughs> Absolutely not. It's 
guys, it was a complete lie. Beatdowns are starting soon. Can they start now? Uh, don't think so. Every single time it's late. Friggin' correct. Great. <laughs> Happy times are here again. I'm here paying good money to watch a good show. Jericho, I also think, is he's getting a little, little, little... Well, he was, but now he's... <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> And needing bread is, is not as much as my need right now. Love bread and suplexes. My bread and suplexes! No. Oh. <laughs> Quiet! P! Quiet! P! Quiet! Quiet! R. Correct. <laughs> Too hard to hear the letters you're saying in person to keep my eyes open. Understandable. Very difficult. Wow. For this next game, it's not on the list, but I want to do it anyway. So, I need people that know how to marshal with Zanny and Sarathan and a couple others who are able. We're going to do some family portrait. I need, I need Fur and Boozy to come down up front. Anyone who does not want to be part of this, you can either stay in back awkwardly or go off stage. You talk. I'll talk you to them. Please. Okay. The way Family Portrait works is Boozy and Fur are looking at an old photo album reminiscing of a wonderful vacation they took with the family. While they are looking through, facing y'all reminiscing, our panelists behind are going to be moving around and I'm not going to look. Don't look in the mirrors. Don't look in the mirrors. Well, Cover now I'm going to look in the mirrors. This is a VR chat. I can look away from those. <laughs> Okay, the folks on stage are going to maneuver themselves around until I call threes, and then the three of us are going to turn around, and they are going to describe the, that particular picture in the photo album of their vacation. So, what I need is, what was the family vacation? Going to DashCon! Face the car! Meeting Grandma at the cemetery! Oh no! I said meeting Grandma at the cemetery! The... The family vacation was the trip to the hostess factory. Thank you! <laughs> Alright, uh, panelists, ready? Panelists down here. Alright! Don't look at the mirrors, close your eyes, do whatever. Uh, begin moving around! Work together, work together. Work together. Set up scenes together. There you go. Uh, hostess back. Family vacation, hostess back. Freeze! Oh, honey, you remember that time we went to the hostess factory? Let's 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 uh let's check out the book. Oh man, look at all these wonderful photos. Back when we actually had to print them. Turn around, they're, they're oh. oh, you remember when we just got out of the car and there was that there was that guy that was like, let me valet your car, and they're like, no, 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 we don't need our car valeted, and uh, and then Timmy and Sue were just over there um holding AK 47s <laughs> Personally, I was impressed that raccoon we hit was willing to propose to you. Aww, uh, I kind of wish 20 years of loveless marriage with you is, um, something else. Ah, uh, yes. I want a divorce. <laughs> Next page! Alright, folks, on stage, start moving around. Uh, what's happening at the 
the hostess factory in this picture, y'all. Yeah. You wanted to show me this. What's going on? This was, uh, this was when we were just starting the tour. They had us to, asked us to go into single file lines as they go through the factory floor. I was actually very impressed that the dabbing raccoon we hit in the parking lot was an employee. <laughs> Oh wait, shit. what's going on over here? Oh, that's the that's the ritual sacrifice that hostess has to make once a day to keep the Twinkies fresh. <laughs> it was really cool that they let us take part of the sacrifice ritual. The ceremonial dagger in the gift shop? Oh, that's still a wonderful family heirloom. You can keep it in the divorce. <laughs> Next page. <laughs> See, it's such a wonderful, wonderful piece. You can see it's, it's got the souls of the damned inscribed in there. Oh, is that gold inlay? I never noticed that, huh? Freeze! to get the cream from the inside. <laughs> I gotta say, that raccoon, amazing up our body strength. And the fact that the homeless man had fallen asleep in the vat of chocolate. <laughs> They've come a long way since, you know, Willy Wonka and not letting the kids in there. They're just like, eh. <laughs> Remember what he sang to us? No. Oompa loompa doopa dee doo. I've taken a lot of fucking LSD, man. <laughs> Next page! <laughs> this is the last page and picture of this... I, I can't call it a vacation anymore. <laughs> Demonic ritual, maybe? Like a dandy side quest. You mean they can't be both? Freeze! This is Disney World. Oh. For the final page of this misadventure, oh, God, it. ah yes, our raccoon god. <laughs> they promote really quickly. When they say they promote from inside, they they do. Like going from you know parking attendant to deity in one day. That that good good job. And there's Timmy having been employed for the ritual sacrifice. <laughs> oh, Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. Ah, oh. what what? I miss him. What, what's happening? Oh, oh, have you ever been to Hershey? You know how they had the singing cows? Yeah? Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> you ever run around and fly? <laughs> oh, this is madness. This is utter freaking madness. Did you expect anyone? All right. Uh, I think, I think next, we need everyone to split into two lines, because we're going to play New Line! Uh, while they are arranging themselves and getting that going, we need to figure out how you're doing the microphone situation. We need a place. Actually, no, I want an activity. What are they doing? Finding a new place for Andrew And these weren't here a minute ago, so they're a new line. This is a really wide line. Alright, alright. I'm combining two things I heard. We'll see how this goes. We are playing new line, and the activity is we are figuring out the new king of furry. <laughs> well, now that uh, Kagi has been promoted to interstellar god, we need a new king of furry here on Earth. Uh, I think we should have uh, a general election. I think I would be a great president. Newland. Newland? New line. <laughs> Newland. 
the, the E is very silent. Replace what you just said with something else. I think I would make a great Fiora! Not it. Not it! New line. Right. Might be it. New line. Damn it, I'm it! So what are your plans for our fandom, good sir? First, we're going to have a charity auction that benefits my gold bathroom fixture fund. New line. My platinum bathroom fixture fund. New line. Repainting the outhouse behind my trailer. <laughs> Now, are you going to be an attendee sponsor or a super sponsor at the outhouse? New line. Is there a line to get into the outhouse? New line. Yeah. Sounds like a crappy place to go. Both of you Y'all just found out that Shiro's, Shiro's the new king of furry. You know, personally, I'm not much into the monarchy. I don't know if we should have a king. I completely agree. New line. I completely disagree. New line. I love the king. Allies of the throne will be executed! <laughs> New line. Allies of the throne will be treated to a bed and breakfast. <laughs> no, I like that. <laughs> wow, um, uh, I mean, okay, yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, you wanna join me? Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, they have some killer danishes. Yeah, we could do that. New line. Yeah, we could fuck that. <laughs> Danny! <laughs> okay, I need to consult legal counsel on whether or not we can fuck that. Oh, I'm, I'm supposed to swear. I tried to build on the joke and I built on our PG rating instead. This is a PG kingdom. Can we have a civil union with that? The Danish? Zane, you want, we're getting in on this Danish. You want to have a, we can do a polycule with the Danish? Now we're talking about the people. Stop talking! The Danish aristocracy. You have to like sit down and get it in the beginning. Get it in! Oh. Put it all the way in. But, but does the king fit the ruby fursuit paw? Is my question. <laughs> you ever read Hamlet? New line. <laughs> you wanna reenact Hamlet? New line. Something's rotten in Pepper Coyote's pants. <laughs> I mean that goes without saying, but what does that have to do with the monarchy? He was the one talking about the Danish. <laughs> Zanny, how do you feel about the monarchy? I don't know what the Danish has to do with anything. I mean, I don't want to go to Europe. <laughs> New line? I don't know what the Danish has to do with anything. I mean, I'm not hungry at all. New line? Eat me. <laughs> Question, if we have a furry monarch, does that make Alkali the furry Prince Andrew? <laughs> the furry king has been deposed. Now what? What's deposed mean? New line. What's words? New line. Who? Stop it, this is new line, not questions only. Thank you. <laughs> Got him. Sarah, I don't know, I didn't vote for him. <laughs> new line. I don't know, all those Danish talks make you really hungry. <laughs> new line. I could be king. Ooh. Yeah. I didn't vote for you. New line. I'm gonna vote for you. New line. You won the first two practice competition. <laughs> what? Oh god, I forgot, it's not 2004 live journal anymore. <laughs> ah, the two old people got that reference! <laughs> yeah! Alright, both of you swap alcohol. Hold on, that was a new line for money. First, line. something else. Wait, a new line to the two old people guy? New line! A new line? Old people are great! New line! Fuck the youth! <laughs>
mental breakdown for charity. The oh, charity is what makes it firm. firm. Everyone give it up for yeah. Firm! Siblings having a squabble. Siblings having a squabble, and for those who don't know, a squabble is an inoffensive PG-rated fight. One of the siblings. Sarah, then it's my turn on the Xbox. I already gave you three minutes an hour ago. That's not enough time! New line. I just want to keep playing! New line. I just want to keep playing with the Xbox PG! <laughs> New line. Oh, man. Well, if, if it was an hour ago and it's 30 minutes, what if I play in two hours? Don't logic me. New line. Don't math me. New line. I don't care, I get what I want. <laughs> you always get what you want. Mom! Don't bring Mom into this! Yeah, I'll bring... I'll bring Dad into this. Don't you dare. Oh, I'll do it. New line. Just watch me. New line. Oh, he's gonna beat you? <laughs> Daddy is shit. <laughs> Uh, why did you order shiitake mushrooms? I didn't know what they were, you just said mushrooms, so I figured that was the kind you wanted. I only like sausage on the pizza. New line. I only like pepperoni on the pizza. New line. Why didn't we get tacos? New line. Why didn't we get taco pizza? New line. Why didn't we order in ding-dongs? Those are my favorite. <laughs> ding-dongs? Ding-dongs? I thought you were talking about telephones. That's how we ended up with the taco pizza. New line. That's how we ended up with a Bell Telephone. New line. That's how we're here at a payphone trying to order food. What is this, 1985? New line. What is this, 1986? <laughs> New line. What is this, Alexander Graham Bell trying to do something new? We have lots of daddy issues. I'm sorry, we know we have to live in the basement under Alexander Graham Bell's lab, and we, all we have is this payphone to contact the outside world. Well, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. <laughs> New line. Uh, the president. New line. Our mom. New line. Our second mom. <laughs> your mom. What do you mean, your mom? Okay, look. I know you have a third mom, and I'm just talking about my second mom. Super but, <laughs> but you know what? You know what? Our, our, um... Super progressive. Shut up, Chris! Why are you doing this? Stop it, mom! You don't have daddy issues. You have an annual subscription to Daddy Magazine. I have to tell you, you're adopted. New line. I have to tell you, I'm adopted. New line. Didn't you know our parents are adopted? <laughs> Is that what you did with the rent money? New line. Is that what you did with your college fund? New line. Is that what you did with the change from the deli order? All 69 cents of it. Oh, it's us again. This is going to be bad news. Mom lost me more. <laughs> well, that's not in debate. It's just that I get sole proprietorship of Dad. I don't care about Dad. He's dumb. New line. I don't care about Dad. He beats me. New line. I don't care about Dad. He redacted. <laughs> Are we about to have a $40 breakdown? <laughs> New line. We're gonna upgrade this to a $50 breakdown. New line. If we get enough people, Fur might have a $400 breakdown. <laughs> New line. I have 400 Who'll give me 425 I sell breakdowns and breakdown accessories. <laughs> we have your Xanax, we have your phone, we have Twitter, many accessories for your breakdown. Do you want to accelerate your breakdown or decelerate your breakdown? I'm looking to accelerate my breakdown. Twitter is coming up. Oh, oh, oh.
Uh, uh, are you posting uh, your opinions? Yeah, uh, uh, Sweat. <laughs> we're, we're leaving a post of opinions. <laughs> Siblings having a swallow. Okay. I heard you saying you're a better at swinging than me. I am the queen of swing. Stop saying that. You've seen Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah? Maybe you shouldn't tell your brother you're the queen of swing. I'm bringing you and screw you. <laughs> I'll be the dwarf and you give me the bastard. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I don't even, I don't like Game of Thrones, but... New line. That's my favorite show, you bastard. Get away from it, it's mine. You don't get to watch it, it's my show. <laughs> Nobody else watches Game of Thrones, is it right? No, no, it's there else I've ever seen. My show. If I TV, the other room when I'm watching my Game of Thrones. You have to say something yeah. answer. <laughs> Boozy, swap. Now I know why mom made us orphans. <laughs> The doctor had done half the job. No, we have to stop the game. I see what you're holding. You can't do this to us. <laughs> New line! <laughs> you throw it all in at once! Yeah! New line! Gimme. <laughs> New line! Can I count it? New line! Fur, bend over. <laughs> Like that at this panel, you all witnessed something unique. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Don't eat and then try to talk into a microphone. Uh, we are now going to do. I need two people. We are going to play five-word cluster cuss. Uh, buddy, when do you have to leave by? I'll do it. Do you want it? It's 11.54, when do you have to go? Alright, we're gonna do Buddy, and we are going to do Shiro. The way this game works is they are going to perform a scene with up to a five-word vocabulary. When they start, they are only going to have one word in their vocab. And that is all they can say. They can move around, they can say it with different intonations, but that's all they get. I will call freeze, and I'm going to go out to the audience and then get a second word, and then later a third word, a fourth, and then a fifth and final word. It's going to be bananas. The words are going to be PG. <laughs> Start thinking of some words now, because we need some starting ones. But, uh, so when I say freeze, I want hands to shoot up if you have a word. All right? I'm really relieved that you're doing the creative part of this, because I was like, it's Sunday morning, I can't think of five words and remember them. <laughs> Alright, so... The audience. We need their first word. Thought. Pudding. Sure. Your first word is pudding. Pudding. We need... We need an activity. What are they doing? Me shopping. At church. Yep. Um, your first word is pudding, and pudding. your activity is at ballet practice. <laughs> Are you ready? We both have the same five words. You both have the yeah. same five words. Same one word right now. One it's word my right first now. Time. And you're going to move around. When I call freeze, you will stop. Audience hands will shoot up. Think of your next word. Begin. Pudding. 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 Oh, pudding. Freeze. Pudding. Pudding. Your audience. 
audience hates you, your second word is mitochondria. <laughs> Unfreeze. Mitochondria. Pudding? Mitochondria pudding. Pudding mitochondria. Pudding mitochondria. Pudding mitochondria. Oh. Mitochondria. 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 Freeze. Pudding. I can't freeze up. In there. mid air, yeah. One or two. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Shout few. Oh, no, I, I heard one from in back. Riesling. Go. Like the wine. Riesling. The wine, right? Right. Yes. Pudding. Pudding? Riesling pudding. Riesling? Riesling mitochondria pudding. Mitochondria. Pudding Riesling mitochondria. Pudding my Riesling mitochondria. Pudding. Pudding Riesling. Pudding Riesling. Pudding Riesling mitochondria. Freeze. <laughs> Dilapidated. <laughs> Pudding Riesling mitochondria. Dilapidated. Dilapidated. <laughs> Dilapidated. <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> Your last word is success. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Pudding. Mitochondria. <laughs> success. <laughs> success. successfully run this one yet, but I want to do four square. Oh. You know four square, I know four square. I, I can help explain, I just can't call it. I'll explain to everyone, oh, you want me to I just call can't it. call it. Okay, you're up here, I'm down there, I understand. Okay. Alright, the next game we're going to play out is four square. Four square is one we don't play very often because there's a lot of setup and at least four people on the stage know how to do it. The simple version is, they're going to be standing in a square. They're going to be doing a scene with the two people facing you. But I'm going to be able to rotate them and they're going to have to change the scene using the line of the scene that is just concluded. So I need four very simple scenes. What the Well then, okay. I need four very simple scenes. Buying fruit. Buying fruit. Okay. Real quick, give that sex traffic. Also has to go. Okay, so I still need a four conductions in a, in a sweat. I know. Watch the grand We kind of got a rhombus going on. Yeah, close enough. Okay, so it's you four. Chris and Iggy. Chris and Iggy, you are the first one. You are fruit shopping. Okay. Fruit shopping. Fruit shopping. Okay, so you're fruit shopping. Rotate one. Right. I apologize, so yeah, correct your clockwise, clockwise or counterclockwise. It was clockwise, I screwed up. Alright, for Iggy and Pepper. Give me another scene, all the way in the back. Downhill ski, okay, we're going to change it up a little bit. Skiing accident. Skiing <laughs> accident. Rotate one. All right, we need a scene over here. I want to go to the corner of the room. All the way back. What do you got for me? We're going to go with... He bought it off my website. <laughs> Lost in the Grand Canyon over walkie-talkie. You two are not together. You're over walkie-talkie. Lost in the Grand Canyon over walkie-talkie. Switch. And yeah. right here. Uh, getting your portrait painted. Getting your portrait painted. Uh, haggling 
for a medieval style full portrait. Haggling for a medieval style full portrait. Okay. All right, rotate one. This is back to the beginning. You're going to state your scenes. What are you guys doing? We're chopping. chopping. Rotate one. What are you doing? Skiing Ski accident. Rotate one. Separated and communicating on walkie-talkie. Rotate one. Haggling the price of a medieval portrait. There we go. Rotate one to get back to the beginning. Oh, oh. You, you all have four. Now you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. That's why I was up here. I was looking for a microphone. Listen to me for clockwise, counterclockwise. Listen to the rotation numbers. Everyone ready? The game is four square begin! So I'm thinking we get a bear and a couple of twinks. <laughs> well, I mean, we got, you know, we got the twinks and we got the dodos and the ding dongs. Yeah, I could get a couple of those. Are, are, are the ding dongs actually fruit? Well, I mean, you know. We're, we're kind of in a food desert, so we kind of got to make it what we have. Yeah. Rotate one! We're kind of in a fruit food desert. Go! I don't know what kind of food you're going to strap to my leg! Look! The skiing accident has occurred! I mean, at least the tomatoes don't make it any worse. How many tomatoes does it take to compound this fracture? Uh, you know, about three pounds. Rotate right. one! You know about three pounds. How much did you pay for these damn things? About three pounds? <laughs> Crikey, governor, that's the wrong accent, but yeah, about three pounds! <laughs> I think about... Did you know it only takes five pounds to break a femur? Which I have done! Apparently a crocodile broke my leg in a skiing accident! I hit the crocodile with three or more pounds of force. Over. <laughs> Bad check, say again. Rotate one. Bad check, say again. Go. Bad check. Uh, I need a new one. It bounced. <laughs> say again. I need you to pay me for my this medieval portrait that took me like 40 years to paint. <laughs> Bad check. Say again. This isn't five finger cuts. Five word cuts? Whatever. <laughs> pay me my money. Well, I would pay you your money, but you agreed to do a new painting and your clothes are wore on the entire time. Yeah. I agreed to 40 shillings for this painting and I want them. Now. Well, I would, but your last shipment of copper ingots were of very low quality. Rotate one! Alright, here we go, you guys go. The game goes, go! What was our word? Iron ingots. Oh, iron ingots? Copper. Copper, copper ingots. Copper ingots. Poor quality. Poor quality. Jinkets, it's the copper. All these fruits are poor quality and filled with copper ingots. Yeah, like these days they're pumping it with all kinds of crap. Instead of calcium and iron, you just get copper ingots and silver, silver shavings. Rotate one! Can you take some of those silver shavings and or ingots and restructure <laughs> my leg? I think it's a little infected with the silver shavings. You might need a tetanus shot. Do you think the tomatoes had anything to do with it? The, well, the, the tomatoes, tomatoes were in. The, toma the tomatoes were injected with silver ingots which had shavings in them and now they're in your leg. I'm so sorry. We may not be able to save you. But the antioxidants of tomatoes. <laughs> well, Counterclockwise two. Two? Yeah. Couldn't make it easy. Nope. Two. Wait, wait, what was there? Oh, so we didn't have to be paying attention. Antioxidants. The antioxidants on that I used to make this painting were cost me 40 years! <laughs> Do you know how long it takes to oxidize tomato? You know, you can take a copper ingot a year and shove it up your tomato. <laughs> What was that about shoving something up me, tomato? <laughs> I now sweep chimneys, apparently. You gotta take the copper from inside the tomato and use it to boost the antenna. <laughs> it's got to get better. <laughs> Clockwise two! Clockwise <laughs> two. Sean 
sorry, I just hit your cart. Oh, well, I <laughs> What a fight? Yeah, you got insurance for us? Because this is going to be expensive. Blockwise <laughs> one! Insurance? <laughs> what are we, Canadian? Clockwise <laughs> one! That's Obama. I said, what is my accent? Is it Canadian? <laughs> no, the other prison colony. Clockwise oh! one! Oh, no, the other prison colony. No, the other prison colony. You are not sending me to a prison colony. You owe me money. You're going to the prison colony. I'm rich and white. I owe you nothing. Clock wise one! I'm rich and white. I don't even owe you an apology. <laughs> well, damn, I mean. Well, like, why are we shopping together in the first place? You're supposed to be my best friend. And you're supposed to be my help, but you keep talking. Clock wise one! You're supposed to be my help, and you won't start talking about my way! Look at it! I'm trying my best on WebMD, I swear to God, I'm trying my best. Things like this towards the end. Uh, you may have seen iterations of these three as the three-headed monster, but right now you're going to know them as the three-headed Broadway star. They are going to take turns singing one word at a time, presenting to you the new hit musical of which we're going to decide right now. So we need the title of the new hit Broadway musical that this three-headed Broadway star is going to sing for us. Red mask snout person, what do you got? One word in time in rotation. Oh! No! That's <laughs> not <laughs> <laughs> No! Me, Sam. Oh, that worries me. <laughs> like, I like where your mind is at in the gutter, but you know. I don't understand that, I'm sorry. The sequel to Up. Oh, oh, the sequel to Up. I heard Up Down, I'm like, what the frick the is that? The sequel to okay, Up, no. come Up Down. Look, I hear that grammar, I'm going with that, thank you. <laughs> you are doing your new hit musical, the sequel to the Pixar movie Up, and it is titled Down. <laughs> Blues are out. Above us, and I feel weird about everything. <laughs> Why don't you go down with drills? Why must we just always go up when? There are balloons everywhere. <laughs> I'm don't. Oh. Wait, sorry, sorry. Going insane <laughs> from helium <laughs> toxicity. <laughs> and all my fears are. Don't you tell me how to dig into the earth and dig down deep. <laughs>
has to be four. I think it's four. Four, and then you have a charity show, right? Today at 4 p.m. in main events, I will be doing the charity show with Boozy, who just took off at Uncle Kaga. If you would like a ticket to that, they're for $10. All proceeds go directly to charity. You can pick them up at the charity table, and I believe they sell them outside the door. Thank you all so much. I do apologize, but I have to get to another panel because I'm slow and they're far away. I'm slow and they're far away. Right. <laughs> uh, we are we are now going to play in a game that involves everyone. The other pile game, World's Worst. The yeah. oh, Mike's fans are good for this, though. They are. Yeah, yeah, we that. Thank you. All right, we've got some World's Worst games. This folks get set up. I don't know how this damn thing works. The telephone purse! Uh -oh. Excuse me? Who put this in his hat? <laughs> oh, no, no! It's not the first time he's been given the aubergine. <laughs> hey, audience, catch. Oh, oh God. You know, I'm really glad that you did I could have gone so bad. <laughs> There was a con I won't name where we were tossing Pop-Tarts out to the audience, and by tossing I mean some people were doing overhand throws, and I saw it hit at least one person in the head. Oh, it was a kid! The heads are soft, they're fine! I once underhand robbed a, be a closed can of beer into an Australian man's forehead. Accidentally. I'd like to call Pop-Tarts trailer park throwing stars. Uh, all right, let's keep going. World's worst way to get something to another person. Oh, I got one. USPS. FedEx <laughs> Freight. Were you a little shit as a kid who liked to go up to people's doors, knock on them, and then run away? UPS is hiring. <laughs> Thank you for flying Frontier Airlines. <laughs> hey, would you like to hear about the Book of Mormon? Do you have something that needs to get somewhere yesterday? Welcome to DeLorean Delivery Services. <laughs> this is world's worst. You, you come get it. <laughs> Hi, I'm here from Pete's, uh, Pizza and Plutonium Delivery. <laughs> FedEx, we give you an alternate location to go get it yourself a week after you ordered it. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to buy some drugs from, uh, Officer Swanson? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, package is here, you can pick it up between the hours of a.m. and wherever the hell I feel like it. <laughs> you know weed's legal in this state. Yeah, I know! <laughs> Two Santa Claus... I want a new mommy. I'm sure I'll hear back. Aww. Hey, that's a good segue. World's worst way to break bad news to your significant other. We made you a cake with some writing on it. Your dad died. Ten. Guess who gets two Christmases? Your new ex is really hot. Which, which ex? Me. Yeah. <laughs> well, who's this new account? My dad after dark. My dad. <laughs> well, I'm just fixing the mic stand. I don't have one. Thank you for... That was annoying me. Alright. Going once. Did I did that? I, 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 I sent you this telegram, so don't give a slap. Sorry for giving you the clap. <laughs> for the details of the upcoming divorce, I would like to do this interpretive dance. <laughs> Bothering me too. Oh, 
two for what's All happening right, with this? Alright, last one. World's worst time to yell. You'll see, you'll all see. You can just pass the microphone. Ooh, shh. World's worst time to yell. You'll see, you'll all see. <laughs> I'd like to welcome us all to the National Blind Foundation. <laughs> Guys, there's a solar eclipse outside and none of us has safety goggles. <laughs> Exiting a toilet stall. Addressing the line of people waiting for the toilet stall. You all see! You all see! Coincidentally, the first furry con ever where no shit went down. Alright, so for our choir, we are singing the song in A minor. You take the, uh, you take the, uh, root note. Uh, you all take the fifth, and you all take C. All of you C. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, the optometrist is on lunch right now. But you'll see. You all see! In about 30 minutes. <laughs> Uh, right, mate, the uh, furry corn, they got oil A, and they got oil B, but we've got oil C. <laughs> <laughs> last one, last one. Timmy, what is this report card? Iggy was interrupted by Swamp. Cola. You'll all see, you'll all see that this Philly cheesesteak is full of poison. <laughs> Danny, you got one? My blind brothers and sisters, Jesus is coming to town. Come on. Because <laughs> Jesus healed the blind man. Yes. Oh, no, but Buddy's might have. Alright, what am I supposed to do with these top secret documents? And one, two, three. So there will be a couple of replays between Zanny and Pandez, but we're going to shake it up. Let's do another three headed Broadway star. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. I want to try Shiro, Burr, and Sarah. Ooh, I call Middle Spoon. I don't know why, but I'm Well, I didn't know Pepper was leaving, and his guitar was right back on stage. We're supposed to do uh, singing bartender. So unless someone suddenly has a guitar... Hey, someone suddenly have a guitar? My guitar's not back here. I know. Yes. I don't want to we have an acapella? No, we need, we need the title of another... Rockapella Saints. headed Broadway, hit three-way Broadway musical. Who's that suitor in the ambulance? Oh. 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 Be nice, but who's that suitor in the ambulance? Oh, that's not hard. It's Sarah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever known Sarah to take a bus ride. You don't I'm know. I'm strong. <laughs> strong right. like bull, smart like street car. <laughs> Ready? What are we doing? You are doing three-headed Broadway star, singing one word at a time. I, I got that. What? What's the, uh, the first new, who's that, The new musical, an who's that you first suitor in like an ambulance? About it. <laughs> it's Sunday at noon, man. All right, Drink again. Drink Mary like the rest of us and get out. Okay. Who's... Uh, Shiro <laughs> and Sarah. That... First shooter... In... The... Ambulance... Who... Went... To... Hospital... <laughs> at... Anthropon... <laughs> or... 
PASCOM. Which... And there's someone who's over 40. Exists... At... Some point... In... Your... Dreams... I... Went... To... Hospital... At... Anthrocon... And... Woke... Up... Intubinated... 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 Oh my god, uh, it wasn't on the list. Uh, or song, song titles. No, Fur just made a request. Uh, we haven't done it in a little while. Who wants to play some sound effects? Yeah. Do you want to do the microphone or do you want to act? Alright, uh, we grab a mic. Do we, do we have two sound effects guys and two actors? Like they do it on a show that has a very similar name to ours? No. Uh, who's the other voice volunteer? Who's making mouth noises? I make a lot of mouth noises. All right, we need uh, we need the physical silent performer, Zanny, Pandez. Uh, we need an activity. Uh, I guess we're doing we're we're doing this. So sound effects. Uh, Shiro, you are doing sound effects for Pandez. Yep. And Fur, you are doing them for Zanny. The scene is, you are having a fur con on the sinking Titanic. Oh. So is this the sound effects where we still talk, but they also make sound effects? You do not talk. We do not talk. You are okay. physically miming a fur con on the Titanic I, while it is sinking. I thought they talked and acted and we sound effected. No, 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 no. There's two versions. There's 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 I, I don't know. I just want to know what I'm doing before yeah. I do it. You are you are providing all sound effects and try to not do words, but occasionally it is just kind of funny. Gotcha. Do you like Mm-hmm. Take over the train. Uh train or the water. Cancel. Okay. Oh, you were for Marta? <laughs> sound effect folks, do you understand and are you ready? Performers, are you ready? Yeah.
I'd like to state I was on stage at the time it happened. Normally it's only a cheer. Silver Gato Man, he bought me a coffee. Silver Gato Man, here is the song for thee. He likes to video all the panels at the cons. You should go and watch them whether they are short or long. Silver Gato Man, you video that's not a jibe. All of you go to his YouTube channel and like and subscribe.